हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 931 एंड टुडेस टॉपिक इज द मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ इनऑर्गेनिक इंसेक्टिसाइड्स एंड प्रोसेसली आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज देयर एक्शन एप्लीकेशन ऑल इन डिटेल अबाउट ऑर्गेनिक इंसेक्टिसाइड्स पेस्टिसाइड्स एक्चुअली before world war 2 globally all the insecticides and pesticides they were of inorganic origin and basically they were the derivatives of fluorine arsenic cyanide sulfate compounds and they were widely used but slowly uh, we have reduced the use of this inorganic insecticide the reason is that these insecticides they are toxic and even poisonous to warm blooded animals like human beings where if i say warm blooded you know there are two group of animals one is warm blooded other one is cold blooded cold blooded animals mostly they are marine animals like fish and they have two heart chamber and if i say warm blooded animals means those animals which are having three or i mean four heart chamber means two or equivalent to one kill and human beings are warm blooded so all these uh, arsenic cyanide fluorine and also sulfur uh, containing compounds they are poisonous uh to warm blooded animals like human being and the first compound what we are using uh, that is your uh, lead fluorate calcium fluorate and paris blue means uh, that is copper fluorate and that paris blue that copper derivative was previously used as a source of dye for blue coloring as well as it was used as pesticide and insecticide so these manufacturers i will be giving one by one so manufacture of these inorganic insecticides are given here number 1 before world war 2 nearly all the insecticides uh, we are inorganic compounds of which arsenic fluorine cyanide and sulfur were the most important in recent years inorganic insecticides have been greatly replaced by organic insecticides uh, the major disadvantage of inorganic insecticides is their toxicity to man and other warm blooded animals uh, upon handling and as residues on food material products some inorganic insecticides are given here the manufacture of those insecticides number 2 manufacture of lead arsenate lead arsenate is also a very good uh, inorganic pesticide i mean insecticide lead arsenate is used as an insecticide in the form of acid lead acetate that is pbhas uh, it may be manufactured by first dissolving lithars is a type of mineral or ore of the lead in calculated amount of acetic acid and nitric acid then the solution is treated with a uh, theoretical amount of arsenic acid to precipitate out the lead arsenate the precipitate of lead arsenate is separated by filtration and the yield is about 95 to 97% it is pink in color uh that compound and it contains about 33% arsenic trioxide also so the uh, reaction is given here how it is manufactured uh, that is pbo plus acetic acid this you will get from the thar 
it is converted into CH3CO twice PV, and then again it is further uh, treated with S3ASO4. It is converted into PV3ASO4 plus two CH3CO plus two H2O, and then it is treated with uh, nitric acid, and it will give two PVHASO4, and that is your lead arsenate. Lead arsenate is usually employed for the potato beetle and for curdling mouth in apple orchards. When So number three, that is your calcium arsenate. Calcium arsenate, it is usually mix, mixture of tri-calcium arsenate and lime. It is cheaper than lead arsenate and usually known as basic calcium arsenate. And it has various disadvantages like one, uh, it hydrolyzes more rapidly. Second, it may produce arsenic injury on humans. And three, it does not stick well to leaves, hence less effective. And it is applied to leaves in the pharma dust. Number four, Paris green. Paris green is copper aceto arsenate that is uh, CH3CO twice Cu, 3 Cu, ASO2 twice, that is your Paris green and that is copper, aceto arsenate and was previously used as green pigment uh, in the form of dye and it was first used as insecticide in the year 1867. Uh, the larvae of mosquitoes have been destroyed by spraying dust powder of Paris green on breeding uh, areas. Number five, fluorine compounds. They are various, there are various fluorine compounds and that have been used as insecticides. The important ones are given here like sodium, fluoride, barium, fluorosilicate, sodium, fluoroaluminate, and that is also known as colorite. Sodium fluoride is widely used against uh, roaches and poultry lice as it is highly water soluble. It rapidly removed by rains, prohibitis is used on leaves. So since it is highly soluble in water, uh, it is it prohibits its leaf, I mean use on leaf, and by rains it is immediately washed out. For this reason, other fluorine compounds such as uh, fluorosilicate and fluoroaluminate are most suitable because of their decreased solubility in uh, water. Number six, hydrocyanide acid. Uh, it is used as an efficient as an efficient fumigant uh, fumigant for insects. It is usually manufactured by the action of sulfuric acid on sodium cyanide. Hessian is recommended in saving citrus fruits and applied very carefully because of its strong action on human system.
So number seven, that is sulfur and sulfur compounds which are used as inorganic insecticides. Sulfur and its compounds are mostly employed as contact insecticides for control of mites, spiders and other similar insects. Uh, they are now also used as fungicides. Uh, sulfur is used as insecticide either in its natural state or mixed with other materials. In the form of its compounds, sulfur is widely used as lime sulfur, liver of sulfur and ammonium polysulfide. Lime sulfur can be manufactured by adding water to a dry mixture of lime and sulfur. The heat of reaction from slaking of lime accelerates the reaction between calcium hydroxide and sulfur as a result of which a self-boiling lime sulfur is obtained and the dry mixture can be obtained by evaporating water from the boiled mixture. It is used for the control of scale insects and for control of diseases of tree fruits. Finally divided sulfur or sulfur compounds are used directly as natural fumigants in the form of dust or as sprays in aqueous suspensions. So with this I will stop, thank you very much for watching the lecture.